Hello and welcome back to Yukumo Village. This is MH Geek here, and today we're going to be doing another single hunt. So first off, um, after the Rattalos hunt, the last episode, I had to go and hunt another Rattalos because that that red dude did totally didn't give me enough parts. So now I have enough parts to upgrade the Queen Blaster One into Queen Blaster Two, which I'll gladly do so because of the increase in attack by just 10, it's totally worth it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so anyway, yes, I will upgrade it. I cannot upgrade it to the next one yet, however, because I'm going to need high rank parts. As you can see from the Rathian scale plus, spikes plus, and basically those are high rank parts. Yeah. And I'm going to need a Rathian, Rathian, Rathian plate as well, so that's, that's going to be a problem. So... I could on the other hand increase his attack, which I think I should because if this weapon is going to last me until I actually reach the high rank Rathian, it might need a little boost. So I shall upgrade it. And not to mention that I can upgrade the sponge gear 2 into sponge gear 3 now because I got the monster bone pluses from the Rathalos. Rathalosus. So I am going to do the same and upgrade it as well because it's a it's a useful bowl, definitely water and pierce. So yeah, I'm not going to equip it just now, not right now at least. But sadly, I cannot uh, upgrade it to the purple, the purple version, the amethyst, amethyst gear because I need um freaking purple Ludrov parts, which uh yeah we don't have yet. So I I shall not upgrade the attack on this one because I'm not going to be using this bow yet so I'm just going to save up some money and yeah with this upgraded bow I am now going to go to the hot springs <laughs> and get ready for the next hunt which will be the Baryov so whoa I have a what's this a new drink quest is now available alright so uh, I'll do that next time and here in the offline village uh, guild hall middle momiji Midochan has nothing to provide. I am sad. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, um, if you're lucky, people that you trade uh, guild cards with, they'll appear in your offline guild hall from time to time, and some of them might have stuff to give you. Like, um, they will randomly just... Err... Uh, yeah, they may just randomly give you something. Like, they might have a speech bubble, and you can just talk to them, and uh, there was once I got some blue mushrooms from Midochan. There's, uh, there's a couple of times I got um, Ivy or something like that, which was, it's it's completely random. This is just you know, um, if you're lucky, it could be like potions, mega potions, whatnot. But it's, yeah, don't count on it. It's it's just for fun. <laughs> it's a tiny little gimmick that makes it, uh, that motivates people to actually, you know, make more friends. So here it is, the Barry of Quest. Let me check um, to make sure I'm not doing the wrong one. Yep, it should be that one. Yes, the Lost Expedition. Hunt the Baryov. So, let us go. Why am I hunting the Baryov? Well, basically, uh, I would like to make the Baryov bow, the Ice Crest, which uh, I'm still lacking quite a bit of parts. So, yeah, I have no choice, but I've got to do this. So, the Baryov is... Um, we hunt, uh, I've hunted it together with uh, Midochan back in the multiplayer... Hall and uh, I'm just uh, why do I keep picking up the mini wet stones? Yes, I'm just gonna throw it throw it away. I'm gonna drink the hot drink as well. I'm gonna put the poison coatings. Yep. And oh shoot, I forgot to bring my might seeds. Ah damn it. Oh well. So since this is the first time that Rakuhara is going to be meeting the Baryov, it's gonna have an interesting cutscene as well, I suppose. Question is... Where... Oh, wait. Simple. I just have to go to his... His, uh... What do they call it? His resting area, yep. And that should be area 6. Yep. This saw throat is still, um... Uh... Still there. And... Oh! Wait! It's not here. Really? Hmm. 
If it's not a resting area, then I suppose it might be area 2. Yeah, because that's where he, he would usually be otherwise. He comes into the caves a couple of times. Um, depending on how... Depending on... I mean, well, at least it was demonstrated at least in the previous... One of the previous episodes, and here we go. The ecology of Baryov. So these are just a small little family of Popo, and there we have the Baryov. Stalking the prey at... Whoa! Um, not very stalkerish, I suppose. But yeah. There we go, it's just a... Pouncing and ouch! What a smash. There we go, one Popo down. And he lets the other two leave. Well, sufficient for it to, you know, sufficient for itself to eat would be fine. Those fangs, though. Wow. So what? I'm right in front of his face? Okay. Nice. Hi. Oh, it's gonna roar. Yep. Typical. So, um, whoa, I want, I do not want to get hit by the tail sweep. As, as per usual, because I, oh, wow. Oh my, oh, okay, I did get the tip of his tail. <laughs> that was so bad. Nope. No hit checks. Okay. So basically, um, I will be trying to, uh, break the fangs, the wings, and, uh, I'll be leaving the tail alone, because, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely not gonna, oh, ouch. I'm definitely not gonna try to cut it with a bow. Wow, that, that was a pretty awkward jump. Okay, let's see. So this upgraded bow, let's see how how well are you? I mean, how good do you serve? Um, this doesn't look too good. What's he up to? A uh, body slam. Ow, darn it. Why do I keep getting hit by like your random tail that's just not even part of the attack? <laughs> ah, whatever. I'm just gonna rain it down on you. Because I'm not... Yep, hit you on your way there. And what are you doing? Stoning there. Nope, not the tail! Uh, you know, how am I supposed to... How am I... I find it amazing that I'm able to tell his moves, even though I'm not exactly looking at him. Like, back, back there, his tail was not even in my screen. How was I able to expect that? Well, basically because I fought this guy many, many, many times back when I just started Monster Hunter Portable 3rd because he's one of the faster few monsters like Nagakuga and he's, he's just basically one of the monsters that are that are quite difficult to learn so I spent uh, many hours just trying to kill him trying to learn his patterns and, and things like that so it's come to a point where I know him quite well but I wouldn't say perfectly but quite well so yeah Oh, the tail sweep. Like, you can see the moment he arches his back, you know that the tail sweep is coming. And whenever he does this random turnaround jump, it's it's going to be the hip check. And this is another body slam sort of thing. Okay. So, oh, ah, couldn't dodge through it. Not without evade one, at least. So, Ice Blight is one of the worst things that can happen to a gunner. Uh, not a gunner, to a bow user. Oh boy, what's he up to? Just gonna save that last uh, poison coating because I'm definitely not gonna be able to poison him at this with just one one last coating. That's for sure. Okay. Oh my gosh, why? He's angry. Oh no. Uh, my cats are still down. They're not here yet. And this is. Oh my gosh. He's really really difficult to deal with because he's so fast. And especially when he enrages, he's even faster. Oh I flinched it, interesting. Oh he's uh what's he up to? Oh my gosh! Yep. That sweeping attack. He's charging in. Okay. I need to find an opportunity to heal up because um I don't wanna get comboed by him again and take a lot more damage and probably cart for the second time this series. Which is not very helpful. So, he's he's distracted with my cats. Fine, I shall take the chance to heal up. All right, heal again because he's still not paying attention. All right, he's coming for me finally. But I'm out of there already. Ha! I do need to find another opportunity to 
put on the paracool things, which is now. Yes. All right. Now he focuses back on me. I'm gonna dodge out of the way and proceed to try and paralyze him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. come on! Wow. All right, all right. So as you can see, he glides around quite a lot, which can throw people off if they, you know, can't pan the camera on him fast enough. I I know that feeling like. When you completely lose sight of the monster in your screen, and you you can see him on the mini map, but you know that that isn't exactly the most helpful thing to be honest. Like where exactly the barrier of is? Another hit check. Anyway, I'm just gonna launch it right here because I can't really reach any part of him. Oh whoa ho ho! That was close. Ah. Uh, I'm really just trying to get. Oh, there we got it. Just gonna take this off for now. Just trying to break both his fangs and his wings at the same time, which is a. Uh... That would be ideal. Oh, he's going. Alright, just gonna pop another ration. Um, put in the close range coatings. He's probably gonna go and uh, hunt some popos or something over there. So I shall proceed to immediately try and stop that. Okay, so things are looking pretty fine. Oh wait, shit, I forgot. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Wah, yes. So, that was close. So basically, every time he enters a map, he takes his time to, like, you know, slowly fly in. And if you come in while he's still, like, making his entrance, he will actually do an ambush attack on you. Which, uh... It's terrible. It, it hurts a lot. Oh, nice. Did I break anything? No, it's just a flinch. Okay, fair enough. He's angry, but he's he has no strength to roar. And he flinched again. So, um, yay. Oh, oh, ouch. Was not expecting that. Is he gonna do it again? Nope. He's completely fatigued. Oh, what? what? Alright, I can't, I can't really read his moves when he's fatigued. It's kinda odd. Oh no, the Bufango is please No! Uh, I wanted to position myself away from the Bufango, and I got hit by Baroff instead. Oh, no! Shouldn't I have drawn my bow over there? That was bad. That was my bad. I'm terrible. Uh, I'm gonna do a hip check. Yes, and oh! I broke one of his uh, wings and he fell over, so... Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm almost out of stamina though. Yeah, because thanks to the ice blight. And he's still fatigued. So I ran off. Oh my. I ran off my close range coatings. I'm gonna have to rely on my, po uh, my power ones now. He's flying away. He's definitely going there to hunt now. I, there's for, there are popos there for sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm very, very sure of that. Just use my last first aid mat kit. Um, I still have full stock of potions and mega potions, so yeah, not to worry about that. And yep, he is. He is about to feast. I shall not let you feast. I am going to shoot you in the face, Baryov. Oh, I shot a popo. I'm sorry, I did not mean to do it. <laughs> gotcha! I mean, he, st he still managed to eat his field, but... Wow, I broke both his uh, tusks. His uh, task and oh my gosh, the the other wing uh, as well. The spikes on the other wing. That's what I was trying to say. So he is enraged, actually, as you can see from his um, eyes. They have turned red, and uh, is oh my gosh, that was close. Yep, and his movement is way faster. And yeah. Oh wow, what what was I aiming at? I don't know. Oh, he's limping. Sweet. Nope, nope, ah, he flew away, darn it. Oh well. Can I actually carve this popo? No, it's a, uh, it's been eaten out completely. Oh darn. Okay, it's heading to area six. What's the fastest way? Through two and seven? Yeah, I guess so. Although that's quite a long run. Uh, whatever. Oh, I could actually hit to three, five, and then six. Meh, whatever since I'm already here, so might as well. 
So as you can see on the map, he's yep, he's going to that corner there. The moment when he stops moving, it probably means that he's has he has fallen asleep. So yeah, there's quite a high chance he's asleep right now. I'm just gonna go and sneak my way up there. Silently. Stealthily. Although to be honest, he actually won't notice. Yep, I, I I believe I can hear him snoring. Yep. That is That's the sound of a barrel of snoring. <laughs> Doesn't he look so cute? I mean oh my gosh, I want a barrel of as a pet. I mean not this size, but yeah, you know. Well, I'm I'm sorry boy. Oh, there we go. So Yep. This is the beautiful Barov ending. Barov's ending. Yeah, well. So, that's another quest down. And, yeah. We still have a couple more to go before we reach the urgent quest again. And I'm not sure what the urgent quest is this time. I can't remember, honestly. I'm gonna have to check it out on the Monster Hunter Wiki or something like that. But in any case, um, yeah. There we go. Barry off down. I hope I do have enough parts to, you know, make the bow now, although I, I highly doubt so, but... Uh, let's just hope. I don't wish to kill any more Barry offs. It's depressing for me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, it's... Well... Yeah. It's quite interesting to hunt, to be honest, but... I'd honestly like to move on to the higher rank hunts sooner. Um, well, sooner rather than later. It's even more interesting, it's way more hectic, and it's gonna be more fun, more challenging. Definitely. So here we have... Um, nothing that I actually need. I need his barrier of spikes or whatever they are called. And nope, I got none of them! This means it's gonna be more off-camera grinding. Oh dang. So anyways, that was the Baryov. And now, let me just take a quick look and see what I can upgrade in the Yukumo farm. So I have... Wow, that's quite a bit of points. Um, sweet! Oh. Um... I am... Honestly, quite spoiled for choice. I'm thinking I'm gonna upgrade the um, beehive and the fishing pier. I'm not gonna bother with the. Should I should I do the mining cart? Hmm. This thing would give me plenty of ores, but I'm not sure. I still have to spend pickaxes or special mushrooms for that so you know what never mind I'm just gonna have the beehive and the fishing pier because raw materials are always useful I need wet fishes for uh, close range coatings which I'm using quite quite often now and uh, I need honey it's, it's always important so yeah because mega potions so as, as you can see it's a uh, it's slightly improved, it's it's less shabby than as compared to before. There's a couple more boxes around, so it gives me more honey, definitely. Uh, actually, no, it's... Wow. That, I... Anyway, the fishing pier, as you can see, it used to stop right here, and now it has gone one more bit, like, one stretch further into... deeper out into the into the lake, I think, or is it the sea, I'm not sure, or the ocean, whatever, but into the water body, alright? And, yeah, there's a greater chance of getting more fishes. So, there we go, these are the new upgrades for my Yukumo farm, and, um, my cats are also here trading very nicely, and I have yet to recruit or find a, you know, a satisfactory sixth member of this cat troop, so... I should go and check out the feline lady shortly. But in any case, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I hope you like what you. I hope you like this um, this series, this content I'm providing you for free. Yes, it's free, anyways. But 
Uh, it's on YouTube, so <laughs> uh, ignore my ramblings. I'm I'm not exactly the most sane right now. Nope, I did not drink. I'm just a little bit tired. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, this is Amy Geek, and I hope you have a great one. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the socials, and thank you all for watching. Amy Geek signing out. <laughs>